a homeowner is building three steps leading to a deck as modeled by the diagram below. All three steps, lines H, A, F, G, D, E are congruent and all three steps runs H, G, F, E, and D, C are congruent. So let me just label that really quickly here, H, A, F, G. So that means these vertical are congruent and the horizontal are congruent. Okay. Uh, each step rise is perpendicular to the step run. It joins the measures of angle CAB. So CAB is 36 degrees as it is already labeled and CBA is 90 degrees as it is already labeled. Okay. If each step run is parallel to AB, if each step run is parallel to AB, Yes, and has a length of 10 inches. So each one of these guys are 10 inches. So this is 10, 10, and 10, okay? Determine and state the length of each step's rise to the nearest 10th of an inch. Determine and state the length of AC to the nearest inch, okay? So what we gotta do, if you notice, because we got a, uh, there are two really two parts of this question. It says, determine and state the length of each step's rise. So each of these steps rise are the same. I'm going to call them y. So that means the total height here uh, is going to be three y. Okay, we're going to need that at the end. Since all of the runs are the same the uh, entire um, length AB is going to be 30 because it's 3 times 10, okay? And uh, we need to determine the uh, length of each step. So we need to determine the uh, step of the rise. We need to determine one of the uh, Ys here, all right? So notice now uh, it says that in the, uh, in the description that AB runs parallel uh, to each of the steps runs, right? So that means this is parallel to that. And if that's the case, then that means this angle over here must also be 36 degrees. And if that's the case, then we can find out what Y is pretty easily because Y is opposite of 36 degrees and 10 is adjacent to 36 degrees. So therefore we can use a tangent ratio tangent of 36 is equal to y over 10. Cross multiply both sides by 10. We get 10 tangent of 36. So let's find out what that is in the calculator. Make sure your calculator setting is in degree. So it's third row, second option. And let's press enter. So that's 7.265, and it says to the nearest tenth of an inch, so this is going to be 7.3 approximately. Okay, and then the question, the second part of the question says determine and state the length of AC to the nearest inch, to the nearest inch, okay. Uh, so, since we have y already figured out, then 3y will be uh, 3 times 7.3, and that would be 21.9, roughly. So we have 21.9, and this is 30. The, um, we need to figure out what is the length of AC. So to find the length of AC, all we got to do is use the Pythagorean theorem. So we say uh, AC squared is equal to 30 squared plus 21.9 squared. So let's figure out what that is. Let's determine what is AC squared. So that's 30 squared plus 21.9 squared. 1379.61. So this is 1379.61. That's AC squared. Now we're going to take the square root of both sides to figure out what AC is. So square root 
of that answer. We got 37.1, but it says to round to the nearest inch, so AC is going to be 37 inches, roughly. And that is it, but let me just be super clear. Uh, let's state the length of the rise. Yeah, I think that's pretty clear enough. Okay.